It's an integral part of hard, clear plastic baby bottles, water dispensers, and linings for canned foods. But because small amounts of bisphenol A can leach into foods and beverages, some cities and states have tried to ban it from products used by infants and children. It belongs to a class of chemicals that can disrupt hormones that affect reproduction and metabolism. Now research on mice reveals that low doses of the chemical can contribute to diseases like obesity and cancer. We exposed the mothers to low levels of bisphenol A that were comparable to what humans are exposed to. Randy Jertle's lab at Duke University tested the compound in mice whose coat color reveals their disease susceptibility. The yellow mice's mothers had bisphenol A added to their food. That triggered certain genes to turn on or off in the yellow mice as they grew. So if the animals are brown, they be, they're lean and clean and don't get diseases all the way up until the end of their life, whereas if the animals are yellow, they have a high propensity to have, become obese, uh, have diabetes, and develop uh, cancer. As they wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they then found that folic acid and similar dietary supplements could stop the chemical's effects. But Jertle cautions there's no research yet on which human genes may be targeted by either the chemical or the supplements. I don't want to give the impression that this means that we can alter or counteract all levels of environmental contaminants. Since high doses of nutritional supplements may also be harmful, Jertle says researching all these effects in people is absolutely critical. I'm Brad Closer.